Hey everybody and welcome back to more Ninjago and friends Ninjago news updating and etc Make sure you like comment and subscribe as we uh, dive into the latest trailer uh, Which is the second trailer or well the first trailer but the second teaser to release uh, In the last two days I would say one day depends on I don't know and this one reveals a lot more of the story and stuff while still showing parts from the teaser so you know and we're gonna dive into it so obviously first uh, the thing starts with uh, Wu grabbing a book uh, with the firstborn symbol and the book is obviously basically you know telling the story about the Oni and Dragon and all that and you know telling thing and he basically you know messes out the only you know basically you know try to take out the whale and all that and we see you know our second look or our official look <coughs> in a way of that new only figure in the book and again at the end of this trailer he kind of appears it kind of appears we still don't know what it is we just and in this trailer pretty much it just it's you know Wu telling the story now not calm down and it basically, you know, goes to all the realms uh, with black smoke in it. And that's one thing, there's a problem I have with this trailer. Like, the trailer's good, but the teaser was a little bit better. Um, because the problem I have with this trailer is not the fact that a certain thing happens, which I won't get to yet. But the fact that if you look at this, look at each, look at every realm that appears. The Underworld, the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Cloud Kingdom. Like... And then the first one, they're all kind of, they are you reusing scenes like, for example, the Cloud Kingdom has that ghost ship from the cursed, from possession, the possession season. Uh, and I'm just like, how is that there? That wouldn't be there. That doesn't make sense. Continuity here. I mean, if that, I mean, if, uh, it's just a trailer, so we're going to go with that. But if that happens in the show, where we see the ghost ship in the Cloud Kingdom, I'm going to be like, Ever, ever. But anyway, so um, that's you know one thing I think, and then obviously we see the first realm with the dragons and the black smoke, and you know they get then we see Faith again. Um, if you remember who she is, you know that's a uh, heavy metal. Shouldn't be a spoiler at this point, but anyway. And we see the you know black clouds basically you know grab the only and pull them inside it, which you know doesn't make sense for one thing. Um, the black cloud, I mean, you get to the black cloud, it's like sending them into some sort of void or some sort of dark land. Because, you know, the cloud wasn't that big and the dragons just vanish inside. So it's like, you know, you know, it must be sending them to another dimension or something like some sort of dimensional thing. But another thing is how, I don't, I, there's, you don't see the firstborn, or at least I didn't see the firstborn. So, you know, firstborn doesn't get captured. But the other dragons do. Now, this doesn't make sense since they were the original ones fighting the Orni, and obviously they survived, slash, kind of won either way. Um, it doesn't make sense that they would be captured by the Orni or the Black Cloud that easy. It's like. It's, it's, it's like. What? Is the Orni aren't. I mean, the dragons are meant to be the, pretty much the only thing that could stop the Orni, in a way. Like, that should be how it, it interprets it. Not. Like, they're probably making that, you know, one of the ninjas, is, especially with the tweets that we got from Tommy. One of the ninjas, I'm not saying who, but pretty much know who, I will, you know, end up stopping it by getting their golden powers back. Or Garm Town. But shouldn't the dragons be the only ones? Especially Firstborn, since Firstborn has all the powers, plus uh, all the elemental powers, plus Amber, which means she, the Firstborn, she could absorb the only powers. You know, it, it, you know if you look at. Yeah, anyway, I'm just. Logic here. This is the entire logic we're talking about. But still, the dragons should be the things that oh, can only stop the Uri. Like, that should be how it works. But it doesn't, and it's just like, it's it's silly and all that. But anyway, that's my opinion. Then we get a glimpse of, uh... Actually, no, we don't get a glimpse of the monastery, because this is the old monastery we see. Uh, we see the doors opening for the new monastery, and then when we see an overview of the old monastery. Uh, from the pilot and then we see them use their powers in the black cloud or try to which 
You know, clearly they fail because otherwise they wouldn't be able to be saved. And then we get to uh, see the, um, what, what would they call it? The wall of uh, history, the history wall, or whatever. It's the memorial type kind of thing, kind of. It's kind of like a memorial wall or something uh, for all the adventures. You can see all the adventures there, including some ones that wouldn't make sense why it's up there, like, you know, Skybound, etc. And, you know, they also have the first one, which also, again, kind of wouldn't make sense. I mean, maybe, but, you know. Though, maybe they does, because the people who do, are there painting the mirror, and you can see they're here with the red hoods. They're actually people from the uh, Cloud Kingdom, and the Cloud Kingdom can kind of keep records of everything, so maybe they have records of alternate timelines too. Wouldn't make sense, so I'm going to go with that, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Then the trailer shows off, you know, stuff based in, you know, the previous two seasons. Uh, so we see, like, the Colossus and, you know, the end of Hunted, kind of, and stuff like that. I, I believe it was just Hunted. I, there may be a scene from Santaganda, but it's, you know, I don't know. Then we get another glimpse of the Realm Crystal and the shadows coming out of it. Then we get to see Gumdan uh, with his powers back. He gets his powers back. How? It's still weird. We don't know. It's Lloyd. And I'm pretty sure Lloyd will keep his powers too. I don't think he'll do that again. They might, but... It'll be silly since, you know, a ninja will hold the fate of Ninjago. I mean, it could be another ninja, but I feel like it, they're probably going to do, you know, Lloyd because he's normally the one and plus he has gone powers. And the others, you know, he's kind of half on, and that's why. But, again, and Gamdam's not technically a ninja. I mean, he's he's got ninja skills, but he's not technically a ninja in this show. But he gets his powers back, and here he's also uh, fighting in this type of thing. He's fighting the ninjas on the bounty. Uh, but before that, uh, it shows Lloyd going down to Ninjago. This is probably uh, after the cloud basically consumes Ninjago, the black cloud. At this point, you know, everything's dark, but you can still walk in it because, again, it's a black cloud. Like, seriously, you know I mean, Lloyd's and he's not disappeared, and all that. So, you know, what's down there is still unknown. Uh, that's why Lloyd's, you know, got his weapons and prepared for anything. You see Pixel also in the uh, Shadow, the Semi X, I mean, uh, which is, you know, the new Semi. Uh, she's down in the Black Cloud, I don't know why. Uh, why they've so I don't know why only two of them have gone down. I would stay together in this type of event. You're stronger together than the part, but anyway. And then we're, uh, you know, we're back at the fighting scene with uh, Gamdan versus the ninjas, which, again, doesn't make sense since the only of the main bad guys you think Gamdan would want, uh, would, uh, you know, be working on uh, to fight them instead of fighting ninjas because, well, the only, he may be bad again, or... Oh. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into this because, uh, you know, bad and good is kind of stretched with this, but, uh, for that, but, uh, the Oni are the enemies of everything, no matter, like, both sides of this, like, the Oni is an enemy of everything, of existence itself, so, in a way, you should be fighting together, not fighting each other, Garmadon. Then, um, we see, uh, Cole basically fall. He tries to grab onto the ladder and it breaks, and then, well, this is where things get sad because it breaks. They were high up on the bounty, higher than probably the last time we saw him from. This is twice we've seen fall the teaser and the trailer. So it's kind of hinting at he's a ninja that will fall. It hasn't actually confirmed that he, a ninja dies. Just remember that, people. Even though people are assuming Cole's gonna die or someone's gonna die, most likely Cole, because the both the teaser and trainer have done this now. Uh, has not actually confirmed that ninja dies, so you can kind of still hold up hopes that ninja will survive, but we don't know. <laughs> and Ninjago, yeah, I mean, I hope they don't, and it will really, I won't be happy. Uh, but <laughs> what you gonna do? I mean, can't really change it now, it's basically, yeah. So, you know, we see 
Cold, basic pulse. Lighter snaps. Now, the way this is done, it kind of looks like it's the same scene as the one where they were fighting Garmata and all that. But again, it possibly, most likely isn't, because uh, when Cole fell, we see Jay holding onto a ladder, you know, screaming his name, because obviously they're best friends, and, you know, he was on the ladder when he did this. And, like, that scene, they could be two different scenes, but I highly doubt it, since he's screaming Cole's name, holding onto a ladder. Cole just fell from a ladder, well, I mean, so, yeah, and then back on the fight, when they were fighting Garmadan, Jay was up on the bounty. Unless he fell too, but we didn't see him fall. So, you know, it, it's, it could still be the same scene, but it could be out of order kind of thing. Just remember that, people. Like, you gotta realise that. I mean, to be honest, for ninjas falling, one thing that's annoying also about this is, and this is also the same, goes for season 8 and season 9. Because they, it, it started at season 8. But um, they have air jutsu. And that has happened because we've seen the memorial wall, the wall of all the history stuff. And all the stuff has happened. So, why don't. Why doesn't Cole just use air jutsu? I mean, I mean, we don't know. He possibly will. But also, again, he possibly won't because they haven't used it since season 6. I mean, season 8. And it's like. Edge to people. I mean, that's what's that's another little error about this. But anyway, so you know, Cole basically does that, and then obviously it skips to possibly not the same scene again. Scenes are out of order, but basically, you know, the ninjas are mourning, like got sad faces and mourning, and then you know, all that. Oh, well, actually, except for Masako and Wood, I mean, they look like they're mourning, and it was kind of in that whole mourning. Uh, montage of the trailer but again that looks like a completely different scene and all that so it's like that was probably a different scene but either way they were mourning so that's another reason why you see everyone's going with he's dead um, again not confirmed but again possibility I'm not ruling it out I'm not saying it's definitely possible and I'm definitely torn because I don't want it to happen but with everything that we've been seeing and all the tweets that the creators have tweeted, it's a strong possibility. And I'm just, I'm trying to hold out hope, but that, that little hope is like really small. Anyway, obviously again, we see the bounty fly off with the ladder there and Jay's on the uh, side of the bounty. You can kind of see him in the distance with the ladder there. So this, looking at Jay, looking at this part right here, where you see the black cloud, Jay on the side holding onto the ladder, the ladder hanging down there. And this, we don't know if this is before, this part right here is before Cole falls or after, but either if it is or not, it's pretty, it's possible, you know, it's pretty much 99, I would say 100, but I'm not going to say 100 because there's a story, it could be a different scene, but 99% possibility that that's the same scene that Cole falls where the ladder breaks. So if that's true, then the cloud's underneath, then it's possible he won't die, but he'll get put into, the cloud will grab him and take him to whatever dimension he's there sending, all the dragons and all that, or whatever they're doing with all the people. So it's possible he's not dead. Yeah, that's another reason why it's possible he's not dead, and they could just be doing something else. It's different as well. Um, so yeah, and yes, Jay is on the boat, on the bounty right up there. If you look. So, like, it's, it's very small, but you can see, like, a blue kind of ninja-looking thing on the bounty. It's, like, the only thing. So that's how you know that that's Jay. Then we see Garmadan. Then this is, I think this is the last part of the trailer now. Um, I'm going off Imagines. I kind of took Imagines of them. Just to, uh, but I think this is the last part of the trailer. And basically, we see Garmadan use his powers on what I'm assuming is a black cloud. It could be a different thing, but... Uh, looking at the scene, it's, it's using on the thing in the same room that the realm crystal is in, or looks like, like the center of it all, and it kind of looks like the center of the whole Uni invasion because you can see like all these black veins on the walls that look like it would be like vein. Oh, it's kind of cool if you just thinking about it. Um, and then we see, you know, the Uni rising, which 
the way this happens, people are thinking this is, you know, the Oni basically possessing Gamdan. And it kind of does look like it in a way. Um, but, you know, I hope it's not. And then, yeah, and basically, you know, Lewis in that room. That's probably what he went down to when we saw him go um, house it down into the darkness. He was probably looking for, you know, the centre, the cause of all the things to stop it. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically um, the teaser and uh, my thoughts on it. Honestly, um, it's good, but there's a lot of things on it. I mean, the realms, how they were using scenes, it's kind of better. It's kind of not good. I don't want to say, I wish they had done something different instead of reusing scenes and just saying the thing for those. Uh, bottom a little bit and you know the calm down thing doesn't make sense again it's just a teaser and it's all mixed up it's not meant to make sense it's not meant to spoil it it's trying to hype you up uh, seeing the Oni was um, good like seeing the Oni in general the only Oni apart from mistake now uh, but I don't know this thing and the seeing the coal falls kind of sad but again uh, we don't know if he dies it's not confirmed, it's strong possibility, but I'm trying to hold out hope that he won't. Uh, but anyway, that does it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and check back, uh, you know, every day for more stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing a ranking video for my, for the sets, and the, then the spinners, and then I have a video for, uh, made up for, uh, Talking about my thoughts on this, you know, the Oni invasion in this kind of thing. I'm talking about something about that and the Realm Crystal. And then uh, I just got to put it together. But anyway, uh, see ya. Make sure you uh, subscribe and like this video and all that. And share it.